So I have access to Fluke Micro Scanner 2. This is a really nice cable tester. It has very sturdy body powered by two AA batteries. Top adapter is a removable. It has ability to test uh, coax and STP cables. So first you need to calibrate this tester. To do so, press and hold port and arrow up button and turn on the tester. You can change meters to feet or vice versa. Also, you can change velocity of the cable. Basically, you can calibrate TDR meter. If you press and hold arrow up and down and turn on the meter, it will show software version. If you press and hold arrow down and mode button and turn on the tester, it will show some examples of open shorted cables and, 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 and so on. So right now I'm testing my own made UTP cable. I cut uh, first pin, so white orange right now is open. Right now I cut orange, white and orange uh, wires. So first pin and second pin is open. It recognizes adapter at the top right uh, corner you can see first adapter and it gives wire map pin to pin. So right now I'm shorting first pair and it's kind of weird, it shows me the link, there is no link, one end connected to the tester, another to passive adapter and after second it shows me short pair, but what it, it is weird, it doesn't show any other pairs, so I cut second pair so briefly it showed second pair but then again all the other pairs disappeared so it's kind of glitch you have to turn off turn on uh, the meter and it, it will show you all the other pins but yeah it, it's it's not a perfect uh, meter it doesn't show crossed wire it, uh, in the graph crossed uh, pins uh, blink you have to figure out uh, for yourself so current uh, electronic uh, testers has a nicer graph for a wire map Right now I am testing live wire, so one of, uh, end of this wire goes to tester and then goes to inline coupler and then it travels to my router. Tester kind of again glitching out, it tries to figure out the cable length on an active uh, connection, so many TDR meter struggles to do that. Well, this one it is kind of giving me approximate cable length. It's showing me 16 meters. In reality, there is, I think, 10 meters maybe. Most important thing, it shows me the link. And it's weird why it doesn't show link speed, it, I don't know, later. I will do the same test on another cable from another room to the same router.
Tesser has nice ability to trace cables using IntelliTone network scanner. It has a four analog modes and one digital. Digital is always better. It is really good uh, addition. I made a video about Intelliton in Cable IQ review. I will add card uh, on top on this video. You can change coax plugs. Basically it came with FF connector, but you can change them if, if you need for any reason. Uh, right now I'm doing coax cable test, so again one end of the cable goes to passive adapter, another goes to tester. So it shows that uh, it recognizes adapter, terminator, and right now I'm untwisting this coax cable and again what I love about fluke meters, they have this live uh, testing ability, live live data. So if I wiggle the cable, you know, it shows me a yeah, losing link or not. This could be good indication that the plug itself may be bad and you need to change it. So uh, right now I'm shorting coax cable. And let's try to do PoE testing. On this black ubiquity brick, it shows PoE, it recognizes the link, but it doesn't give me speed. So it's supposed to give me a positive and negative pins, and it kind of gives me that information, but uh, only when I unplug the cable from, from the tester. So the different uh, adapter, again, it shows me PoE, it shows me it has a link. When I actually change to a PoE mode, it's trying to figure out what's going on, but it doesn't give me any additional information. And when I unplug the cable for a brief time, it gives me uh, which pins are negative, which pins are positive. I'm not sure if this is accurate. Uh, right now I'm testing PoE function with my ubiquity switch. Here we have indication of a link speed base 10 100 and 1000 and again when i unplug the cable for a brief period of time it actually shows which pins are negative and positive as i said i will try to do another test with the live ethernet cable so this cable goes to inline coupler and then it goes straight to router and right now it's showing me the link speed and trying to figure out uh, cable length. Uh, cable length is, again, it's about 10 meters. So if I wiggle the cable, again, I can show that I'm losing link and it it is, yeah, it's a good thing to know. Actually, it's not the RJ45 connection. It's probably, you know, losing connection in this inline coupler. This is a really nice function to have live data, live link. You can test live link breakage. So I unplugged far end of my cable from router, so I get open at the end of the cable. Right now 
on the far side of the cable I connected passive uh, adapter, terminator adapter. So I get the pin to pin readout. And these buttons and it, it is kind of squeaky, screeching. It's, it's, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with them. And right now on the far side of the cable, I connected inline coupler and also connected a small patch cord with a shorted pin 2 to pin 6. Also, it showed a split pair, so that is accurate. And right now it glitches out some sort of an error and I'm, I'm not, I'm especially not gonna turn off this tester and turn on. And I want to show that sometimes even fluke meters glitch out and so right now I have uh, this small patch cord. It's connected via inline coupler. The other end of the cable is unplugged from router. So I'm right now shorting pin 3 and 6 and it kind of detects adapter with ID number 3. Now it detects adapter number 6. Yeah, it's, you know, it's not a perfect tester. It's, it's not like even, look, I had a flu cable IQ and even flu cable IQ sometimes glitches. Uh, so... Yeah, it's not a perfect uh, emitter, but it's good enough for most things. It's small, decent build quality, you know, big screen, easy readable. Well, uh, I would love it to be a little bit cheaper. You know, it's 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 not cheap by any means. Uh, it's, it doesn't qualify cable. When I cut in the cable and did a test with uh, Kurt Electronic Key A7100, it detected that cable. With Fluke, uh, I cut in the cable and it did not detect the same cable. So there you go. But it has nice ability to do live testing. This is really important for me. So yeah, this is good tester. If you like no BS reviews, subscribe for more.